And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a sweet donation deck here tonight. We have Leyline Ascendancy. That's right, we have a deck built around Leyline of Abundance and Simic Ascendancy, putting these two cards together. Now this is basically blue-green ramp, as you can tell, which is certainly a strong arc archetype. Um, you know, the mana creatures are very good. So our Risen Reef, Nyssa, Hydroicrasis, Voracious Hydra is really good too. We know those are very good. But we're, we're, we are taking a, a shell of very good cards. And instead of playing lame cards like Mass Manipulation that just win the game very easily, we're going to make it a little harder. And we're turning this up to 11. And we are getting Simic Ascendancy trying to win games with this. Um... So this is, as you can see here, you can three mana, put a 1-1 counter on a creature you control, and then whenever one or more 1-1 counters are put on a creature you control, you get to put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. And then if Simic Ascendancy has, or well, just also, at the beginning of your upkeep, if Simic Ascendancy has 20 or more growth, cham growth counters on it, you win the game. So we are going to be trying to... Um, get a lot of mana with the help of all these mana creatures in Leyline Abundance and use this eight mana ability with Leyline Abundance to put a 1-1 counter on each creature we control. Then whenever the counters are put on our creatures, then they put counters on Ascendancy. We get 20, we win the game. Of course, to help us out, both Hydras, they enter with the counter, so they, they automatically count towards Simic Ascendancy. So, you know, if we play a 6-6 six, six Krasis, for example, that's six counters on Ascendancy. Um, we also have Roalesk in here, which looks pretty sweet. We could have put two counters on a creature, and if whenever Roalesk dies, we get to double proliferate. That you know counts the Simic Ascendancy and everything else. Um, the one thing that's so like we need Nissa in here because we need we're going to need lots and lots of mana, and that's what Nissa is the best at providing. But it's unfortunate that whenever Nissa, we never use the plus one ability. It puts three one one counters on a land, not on a creature. It puts the counters onto a land and then turns that land into a creature. So it doesn't you don't actually gain counters with Simic Ascendancy whenever you tick up Nyssa. Um, so that's that's what we're gonna have going on here. You know, we'll probably win some games with our normal ramp stuff, but I'm really hoping we can win at least one or maybe twenty eight games with Simic Ascendancy's trigger. That would be really nice. Um, so that's what we got. Let's give this a try. Leyline Ascendancy. So just like all donation decks, we're heading on over to the traditional constructed queue, paying our thousand gold, and seeing how we do over here, playing until we uh, either win five or lose two, whichever happens first. <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Mass manipulation is just too easy. Too easy. I do think that the London Mulligan rule is really good for this deck, specifically for, for the green ley line. I think the ley line's value is certainly higher because of the London Mulligan rule. Okay, if we go 5 0 with the deck. Then tomorrow we got a <laughs> we got to a metagame challenge with it. Hmm. I guess we have to get rid of Leyline. Kind of wanted to keep the lay both Leylines, and get rid of like one of these things, but. By getting rid of Ley Line, we can play Incubation Druid on two, Risen Reef, and Leaf Kin Druid on three. Or, you know, like just play, you know, be able to have the Leaf Kin Druid after the Risen Reef, get another Risen Reef trigger. <sighs> Double Ley Line's pretty crazy, though. Do we really need another Risen Reef trigger? I think Ditch Incubation. I'm actually kind of fine with this. We have two draw steps to draw one of our other mana creatures. If we don't, we'll, we'll play the Leafkin Druid.
Yeah, mold of four. That's all we need is four cards. Yep, make a deck with Wilderness Reclamations, Command the Dread Hordes, and Mass Manipulations. You will always win. Don't forget to throw... Don't forget to throw three mana Teferi and Goblin Chain Whirler in there. Probably one Experimental Frenzy. We'll just have turn three play a crisis for four. Draw some more crises. It's pretty good. You only need four cards. I guess opponent's hand is going off. Ooh. Man, Leyline's pretty nutty. Because the forest, this forest tapped for four mana. Because you know it taps, it taps for one, but then it taps for an extra one with Anissa, but then it taps for an, it's a mana creature, so it taps for an extra one with Leyline and an extra one with the other Leyline. So it tapped for four mana. I mean, our opponent's hand was just incredible, obviously. But like, look at what we did there. We had we had turn three crisis for four. Turn four, we played Nissa and another crisis for four. <laughs> If our opponent didn't have just an insane hand also. So if I double chump block, we go to five. If I go block, block, there, there, we take 22. So we have to chump one. And then we'll block this one. And that puts me down to two. Yeah, that's that's just an awesome mono white hand. <laughs> I don't I don't think their hand gets it gets better, honestly. I don't know if their hand gets any better. If only we had Rivers Rebuke. We would win this game if we had Rivers Rebuke. All right, so we got these Rex Ages, which are awesome. Blow up some enchantments. Cavalier Thorns does some good job blocking. Um, against the aggro deck, or do we cut Ascendancies against the aggro deck? Or are we keeping in Ascendancies all the time? Yeah, I know Ascendancy is too slow to do anything, but I didn't know if I was allowed to cut it or not. But yeah, I know it's, it's too slow here. Risen Reef may be a little too slow here, too.
Yeah, our hand was sweet. Yeah, I can't be mad at that one. No, I don't think we play Harpooner for Aspirant. Because that's, that's us trading down on mana. If we just had two lands... Well, this is our slow hand. I don't think we mulligan it. <laughs> we'll see. Our opponent's at six cards also. I don't know why that's CMC two or greater, right? Yeah, I don't know why they didn't tap my creature during upkeep. Do they have spell pierce? Leaf can Druid adds two. So I didn't need to put it on the breeding pool yet. I could have waited a turn before putting it on the breeding pool. Venery Luxodon is very good. So it's Conclave Tribunal. Ugh. They're spending more mana than we are. They just spent nine mana that turn. Yeah, our opponent's very good at this game. <laughs> These are... Yeah, now they're crushing us. Oh, this is Leslie. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't understand what you're like when you're saying play Leslie, but then I realized that your ley line got auto corrected.
I don't like trading my land, but I also don't like taking 10 damage. This is Law Rune Enforcer is going to mess me up. Uh, this Law Rune Enforcer is going to mess me up. No, I'm not going to really be able to block. Whoops. I meant to do six. I meant to use all that mana. But that's not good. Alright, we were defeated. Great, great hands, opponent. GG's. They got us. I think we could have stabilized... And by could have, I mean, I think we would have stabilized if it wasn't for that tapping creature. I think we had that second game. Like, we could have, you know, just sat back with the three fives. I know. That tapper really got us. Even after everything else. This deck is ridiculously powerful, though, early on. Like, we get so much mana with this deck. It's crazy. Oh, uh, there's no mana creatures. Mulligan. Right, we got a mulligan in the hand with no mana creatures, right? It's like, if we top deck a mana creature, though, in the first couple of turns, this could be good. Like, Dub's Risen Reef is really nice. I mean, that's all our hand our hand's missing is just a mana creature. Let's, let's try it out. Especially us being on the draw, on the... Well, even on the play, just having the two Risen Reefs early is really nice on the play. What color cat's going to be the good luck? This cat looks like our, our army of the Eternal. Can we have these mana creatures? 
least our opponent's got a slower hand. I like it. And here we go. Temple, scry. Mana creature, keep. No blocks. Double trigger. Put a land. Another Leyland. Ley line in hand. No attacks. Alright, yep, they gain lots of life. Ooh, they're keeping it? Cool. I think if I'm them, I ditch for a land, but no blocks. All right, what all can I do here? I mean, I guess I have to do this thing and this thing. I uh, give me that land. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of land, a lot of mana. Yeah, this is we're going for the ascendancy game. Yep, we're we're chomping with the risen reefs to so block with one risen reef, go to three, we'll block with two risen reefs, and go to. I guess we'll block with two, uh, probably just one. Ow. Okay, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten for mana, so we can play this. And this. Oh yeah, I target a creature. Um I don't, know. I don't care. Uh you. Sure. I don't really want to do Incubation Druid. Because I want to be able to adapt to Incubation Druid, I think. I could be messing that up. <clears throat> no, don't just don't destroy my ascendancy. They don't even have black mana anyway. What are they doing keeping all these cards that they don't even have black mana for? What are they doing? Alright, how much actual mana do we have? I haven't done that part yet. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 mana. Alright, Royal Alaska, I just want you to die. I think, right? How am I supposed to do this math? 4, 5, activate Druid. 
and then druid is three, four, five, activate other druid, and then five, nine. So we ley line one, so we're gonna ley line one time. These are gonna be, that's gonna be a three, five. Or here, these will both be x6. That's gonna be x6. This is gonna be, I don't know, big enough. All right, that's all, we're blocking stuff. All right, block. Um, you activate you. You activate you. Dang. Yeah, I should have let Rolesk die. Well, actually, Rolesk couldn't die with six toughness. Um, six, eight. You know, I don't even know how much mana these things add. I guess these these things add five mana each. So that's eighteen. So we'll do sixteen. Alright. And Simic Ascendancy, and no, I was not attacking. Simic Ascendancy was gonna win that one the next turn. This deck's sweet. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> um, we could do stuff or we could not do stuff. No, Ascendancy doesn't have an animation. So I, the the best card here is Aether Gust. So I could take out like the two Paradise Druids for Aether Gusts. Um, you know, we could also trim Ascendancy. Ascendancy is the kind of card that always after after sideboard people are going to have more interaction for it kind of thing, where it's just always going to be worse after sideboarding. Full house down. Uh, this is burn the house down. Yeah, they trophying. And Cavalier, of course, will be better than Rolesque, but we're playing Rolesque to be a little different. Let's take out one Paradise Druid for this, for a Cavalier. All right. Yeah, yeah. If you want to make the deck better, you know, don't you know, you play mass manipulation and certainly. I've been just impressed with this green ley line, though. But yeah, if you if you want to make the deck strictly better, you know, you play mass manipulation instead of Simic Ascendancy. But but yeah, green ley line has seemed awesome. Yes, I, I think I could have done that. Um, I would have had to... Yeah, I would have had to do some different blocking. with Not with the blocking I did, of course. But yes, there was, there was a, a way to block to get to the 20 counters that turn. I wasn't really... When I was doing the blocking, I wasn't really considering that. But yeah, we could have. Um... I'll just play this thing. 
I could have like the high we could have played Hydra for three and killed a wild growth walker. But we'll just go this way. Now the Leafkin Druids add two. Hey, what's up, Audio Magics? The land will not forsake you. All right, so we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, let's do this for six. I hope they don't tap the forest. Yay. Get out of here, wild growth walker. Did that because next turn we'd have 10 mana, so we'd be able to get an even number for the crisis. No cool ley line stuff that game. But man, this deck. Yeah, this deck's pretty gross as far as, like, the mana stuff you can do. And, yeah, if we if we fully optimize this deck, you know, not playing Ascendancy and stuff, I still think that, like, just playing Ley Lines, you can do some ridiculous stuff with this. Yeah, Leafkin Druid is awesome in this kind of deck. Add so much mana. Yeah, this could be a Nexus deck. No, we didn't draw the mana creature. Alright, put a land into play. Perfect land too. Temple. Skrizzle. Keep the reef. Next turn, we can go Nissa and Reef. So even though no... No ramp turn one or two, but just Risen Reef three, Nissa and Reef. Because that thing adds three mana now. The Hydra about to be big. It's like we're just playing a different game than our opponent is. I don't even feel like attacking. We don't need to do no attacking. I need to make these things resolve faster. Uh, let's get the temple. The land fights for us. Yeah, we are we are just playing a different game. Yeah, this is our slow hand, no mana creature turn one or two. Just a typical slow hand. I will endure. Wow, cleansing Nova. Wow. We are playing a different game. Wow. To Vito with the raid. Welcome everybody from Tevito stream. We're playing a sweet Leyline Ascendancy deck here. Behold, nature's true power. All right, how are we doing on mana here? So this thing taps for five. So no. 
What are the Cleansing Nova decks doing here? So five, six, seven, eight. So I can't. I basically can only just do the ley line of abundance trigger. But then that. The ley line abundance trigger just isn't even as good as adapting and then ascendancy. Still have twelve mana. Plus we do we still have fourteen mana this turn. The land fights for us. Six, seven. We'll do five. Get out of here, spirit. Yeah, they they wrathed like double wrathed away all this stuff, and we still had fourteen mana because <laughs> Nissa. Yeah, today's a metagame challenge this weekend. Cleansing Nova dot deck is so rude. Definitely want Cavalier Thorns. Hmm. Yeah, so we want the negates and Cavalier Thorns. Whenever they die, they can put something back on top for us. But now, what are the other cards we're cutting? I guess Paradise Druid. And we got to cut one more card. Because mm. it was just all that game. Like, we were just hard casting the Leyline Abundances, and they were just fine. That's a good card. Definitely the best ley line by a long ways. This one's pretty awesome. All right, we'll just play our one ascendancy. That's all we need to win is we just need the one. <laughs> that was the cra that was the craziest thing I just watched. Two cleansing notes back to back. How are you not as shocked? They wanted. They had to try to clear up the all mana creature leyline deck. It's a good call. Yeah, if you don't have all all that many rare lands, audio magics, you probably can just go Simic instead of Teamer. I'll have to. I'm thinking I'm going to have to streamline this deck. I guess we'll save that. I guess I'm going to have to streamline this deck. Um, and maybe try it tomorrow in the metagame challenge. Hey, Varchild. Thanks for the puppy cheers. No, my ascendancy. No. That's a good card. Oh, well, when Cavalier dies, we can get the ascendancy back. <laughs> no, they no, they were they were bant colors last game.
All right, two and one. As long as we don't face ridiculous mono white starts. Maybe we need like a river's rebuke or two in the sideboard for the mono white matchup. Finale devastation package with Endrace forerunners. Nah, because you'll just have like other games where you'll just have like your Endrace forerunners like in your hand where you're just like, why is this in in my deck? Let's get rid of you. No, we got rid of the O3 instead of the O2. Give me back the O3. Take an O2. Uh, Good Brother made this deck. Yeah, this is Good Brother's deck. What is the wizard striking with this lightning? Like the wizard is like striking like the the prairie or like the plains, the hills right before in front of the castle, but not the castle. So if they use burn spell on on the creature, I'd rather them use burn spell on druid than on Sorry, on Incubation ra rather than Leafkin, but I guess this does mean, of course, that I can't block. But block Chain Whirler would not have been great either. Yeah. They had another Wizard's Lightning. Now we get this thing. See how smart and thin we were. See if it works out. Chandra? The fourth Wizard's Lightning? Hmm. Yeah, the wizard's trying to start a fire around the castle, but not at the castle. They just have all three damage burn spells. And one mana, two, two haste. Just all goblin guides. Just all lightning bolts and goblin guides. We're just playing against Modern Burn here. We're just playing against Modern Burn. VT Log! What's up? Thanks for that resub there. Lucky sub number 13. That's what we needed. All right, get these Cavalier Thorns. Aether Gus. Nagate. You get back in here, Voracious. Um, could cut some Risen Reefs. We'll just cut the Risen Reefs. We go ramp, big things. Nothing in between. Yep, seven subs for our next sub goal. The sub goal will be cracking a pack and it will be our 18th out of 20 sub goals towards a 12 hour stream. We are currently at sitting at 17 um, out of 20, which I should update that. I'll go ahead and do that now. I forgot to do that earlier. It says 16 on the info panel. All right, now it says 17 because they're from getting to the 10.
Why is their hands always so good? My friend is here to help your pain. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Nature's true power. Yeah, I know they get a block and kill my Lanor Elf. Uh, still kind of want to do. We got to. You know, we're just not going to gain any life off of this crisis, but I guess the crisis is still looking at being, uh, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 13. Is there like any reason to even do crisis for 13? We probably just want to do crisis for like 10, right? Just make it a two turn clock. And then maybe play something else. Mother Ludi gave us homework. All right, so now I could do crisis for 11. All right, because that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Untap, 11, 12, 13. So I guess we just do crisis for 11. We could keep one mana up. Hey, Blabeebs. Thank you so much. Just, is the Leyline of Abundance free? I guess it costs us one mana. So that could be Crisis for 10 and play this Leyline of Abundance. Right, let's see. If I play this, we're at 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we're still at Crisis for 10. The land shall conquer you. We have two subs here, Blabeebs and Sandbox. Love it. Everybody's getting the hype boats in. Thank you so much for showing some love for our new we can subs. Do this together. Thank you all very much. Blabeebs and Sandbox, y'all are awesome. My that is 15 subs on the day. Sloppy. Five more to the goal. What are they doing with the Chandra? Kind of seeing how much mana we got over here. 17. I'm going to want to activate this thing once. So that's 8 mana. And then... Uh, 9. Let's just play this thing for 7. Um... 
Sure, we'll kill a steam can. Game three. Game three. Ugh. I was going to be able to activate again. Uh, if you didn't see that, I was going to be able to... I was going to attack them with everything. Um, and I was going to be able to tap the lands to activate again. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty sweet avatar. Good... Good avatar and sleeve combination here. No, our opponent's just playing regular mono red, mono red aggro. We gotta draw blue mana. There we go. We need our matching. We need our kitty to match our avatar. I I like this this kitty avatar combo. I may have to be this eternal army army more, so we can have the kitty army, eternal, the eternal kitty. Oh yeah, we definitely need courser for this deck for sure. Still like to draw the blue mana. We don't have very many cards in hand. Welcome to the more the messy. I mean, like two one ones are probably not going to kill us too fast. Ugh, where's our blue mana? Stop. Okay, one more land. <clears throat> no, that's the worst possible card. They killed a Cinderland Harbor. That's really bad for me. They don't have blue. I don't have blue mana again. But we have the Cavalier Thorn still. Well, yeah, gusting now or gusting on upkeep isn't really any different. All right, they put it at the bottom. They put it at the bottom. Do not assume I am fragile. Cease this aggression. I must go. That's fine. Uh, let's do, or wait, uh, stop, you, Z, untap, you attack first. I think we can beat a 2-1 and 2-1-1s with this. I'm pretty sure we can win this. All right, let's do this thing. Scry land. 
Uh, yeah, I'll keep that on top. Double check. All right, still good. Sometimes you gotta double check. No, they had another frenzy on top. Are you kidding me? Oh no. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's just Z. Yeah, not not control Z, just Z. To untap. So I could wait one turn for Krasis. If I wait a turn for Krasis, it's like the biggest Krasis ever. If I cast... Uh, if, I if I cast Krasis this turn... One, two, three. We're looking at six, seven, eight. We're looking at Krasis for six again. If I just cast it this turn. I'm pretty sure we can wait a turn. Together we will prevail. Yeah, we kinda need to stay alive. A little bit. Not a whole lot though. Really? Stupid auto tap. Should tap the forest, not the Hinterland Harbor. I guess I could just play the sick, the Krasis for six here, and then we have 12 power in the air. Oh no. Let us talk of peace. Operation, play the biggest Krasis ever instead of giving myself the better chance to win isn't going so well. This is not going so well. Yeah. Play Crisis for six was the safer play. I'm going for the cooler play. of Krasis for much bigger than six. Yeah, I mean, all they need is all they need is a three damage burn spell on top to kill me. Um, a two damage burn spell likely kills me. Ooh, no burn spell. See, had it in the bag the whole time. Okay, so two, five, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, we'll tap this thing, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, undo, eighteen. All right, gain eight life. Ooh, and we got a negate back up. Nice. Honestly, I shouldn't even be attacking here. We have the 1616. I shouldn't attack there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Bar Child. Biggest Hydra ever! All these, all those value trophies and everything. There you go. Make me feel good. 
after after doing all that. Um, <laughs> that was perfect of our child. Close game. All right, how big of a voracious Hydra can cast? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, so twenty one. No, let me play the twenty one and then double it. Forty two counters. We could, we were going to get forty two counters. Ah, uh, 42, the meaning of life. We are going to get it. Isn't that... It's like Gal uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Didn't they say that 42 was the meaning of life? GG's. No, that was a fun match. This deck's fun to play. Yeah. 42. Okay, 42 is the an... It, it's not... Okay, it's the answer to the question about life. The universe and everything. It's the answer. Gotcha. It's not the meaning. It's the answer. All right, I should have reset Arena. It's acting up a little bit. Rude. My hand's pretty good. Yeah, this could be a tough matchup. Hmm. It's possible they don't know what Incubation Druid does. What 
they always tap? Does the druid always tap itself? All right, well, that definitely helped out. Do I want to activate ley line? I'm expecting any card that I play right there to get countered kind of anyway, so. I'll just activate the ley line. Now one more activation. You know, makes our Leaf Kindred a really good blocker with one more activation. No, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Gotta draw a crisis. Oh, I should I should have blocked the three two. I should have just saved a life there. Should block the three two. Um. It's pretty likely their last card's a counter spell, right? Still get to Simic Ascendancy though. Resolve. Resolve. Still get to activate Simic Ascendancy even if this gets countered. Well, I guess we pay. I guess paying does make me dead, though. Alright, I should have thought a little bit ahead. I think it's impossible is nothing. <clears throat> should have blocked the 3 2. I don't know, you're fine. What am I not playing? I kind of want all these interaction stuff, but... What are we taking out? Like, are we taking out Risen Reefs in this matchup? I guess so. I guess we gotta take out Roalesque. 
Maybe we take out Cavalier Thorns also. Maybe we don't actually play those things. Yeah, actually, you're right. Maybe we just don't even actually negate. They are just kind of creature-based, aren't they? Just all creatures. That let's get these things back in here. Harpooner is great against the like that one one flyer, but that's kind of about it. Yeah, the Cavalier Thorns are awesome. Ooh, who's worthy of a gift sub? Duriel. Is a good good person. Uh, no ceiling, somebody that I reckon, recognize that's in here all the time. Project Vanner. Yeah, I guess I'm taking all Project Vanner suggestions, too. Hmm. The only reason why I want to keep this... Well, because besides us having, like, seven reasons, but... We do have the Scryland... No, let's ship it. Inverse Bren with the Twitch Prime sub. Get, let's get some hype in the channel for Inverse Bren. Thank you so much there, Bren, for that sub. Sub number 16. All right, four subs away for our next sub goal. All these cards are kind of good. I think I have to get rid of one of the five drops, and I, I guess it's Cavalier of Thorns. Yeah, I guess it's just Cavalier Thorns, but I, man, I love me some Cavalier Thorns. That hurts to put that one back. Yeah, Proliferate can mark up enchantments, yes. You can do any permanence with Proliferate. Uh, that really hurts both Thorns on the bottom. Ceilings, getting that gifted sub from Impossible is nothing. You are correct. Impossible is nothing. I agree. Thank you so much, there, Impossible. Sub number seventeen on the day there. Um, I don't really want to play anything. Which is really annoying. Paint it forward. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, Orzov Aristocrats. It's good against Mono Blue. Uh, Duress. And then just cheap interaction. You know, like uh, Disfigure. Cast Down. Stuff like that. And Project Vanner, getting that gifted sub from Santa, good brother. I don't have a good play right now. I would I would like to play Leyline of Abundance and then my mana creature add two and then play Incubation Druid. That's like my best play, but they just counter Leyline of Abundance. It's not great for me. That's fine. That's fine.
All right, so number 18 on the day. I was expecting Frilled Mystic when they shocked in before. I guess it was just double regular counter spell. Remember how we didn't bring in our negates because we're like, oh, they don't have very many spells. Well, so much for that. So much for that. Yep, two more subs for a goal. So yeah, if you're enjoying the stream and like to help support me being a full-time streamer, consider hitting that sub button. I'd appreciate that. Um, it's just this. One more mana, we can play Nissa with Ether Gust backup. Not the best card to have in backup, but we got one. Worm four. Thanks, Worm. Everybody, keep those hype boats in the chat. One sub to go. Thanks, Worm. Um, Yeah, we could gust our own crisis back. Now I'm going to get rid of this ampuk ampack. This night pack ambusher. I think I don't know, do I just triple block this thing? Duriel with that sub and Dr. Ultra. Dr. K, y'all are awesome. Everybody get all those hype boats in the chat. Let's go. Hmm. All right. We got there. Uh, thanks, Adario. Uh, no, Sir Eulen Drake is not good. A 1 1 doesn't really matter in a game of Magic. It's definitely not something you want in Modern at all.
All right, I'm. This game's lost. Very good hand with them. The cutthroat, and then just all counter spells. Perfect. Sir so Ulan Drake is much too weak for modern, and I don't think it's good enough for standard either. All right, so Leyline Ascendancy was pretty sweet here. This is a cool deck here. There's, you know, we could definitely make this, you know, if we didn't want to do the Ascendancy thing, you know, we could definitely do make this a, a better deck by going with Mass Manipulations, of course. Um, we learned against the, I haven't played against the Blue-Green Flash deck that much. And I, I don't know if people have, you know, like, different lists and everything. I originally put Negates in, but then, yeah, we, we ended up taking the Negates back out because of their creatures. Um, but Negate would have been just awesome in the games that we played. So, learn to, to bring that back in. Ether Gust did not look very good in that, that matchup. But it's possible we just want, like, you know, four. We probably want four Veil of Summers in that matchup, to be honest. Like, we probably should just have four Veil of Summers in here. Because if we move... Cavalier Thorns to the main deck. That could free up some sideboard slots. They could have a fourth Veil of Summer in there. But very impressed with Leyline of Abundance with the mana creatures. Very impressed there. It does feel like just even just some kind of creature interaction. We need we need some more creature interaction. You know, even just like unsummon on our part or something. Yeah, you know, we need we need ways to bounce some creatures um was it three two yeah yeah y'all are right yeah yeah we went we went three two i never updated after the last one yeah y'all are right we went three two no i wouldn't play I'd, I'd rather have unsummon than fog i don't think i don't think we really want fog i think i'd rather have unsummon or or just melody like Maybe just going entrancing melody. But yeah, mass manipulation is definitely better than Simic Ascendancy. But I was impressed with, with Simic Ascendancy there. If you add in mass manipulations over ascendancies, um, here I'll show you like a basically okay, if we were gonna like streamline the deck, if we were gonna just play manipulation, this is you know not making it as unique, but we would want the other we're gonna have to have more blue lands, basically. So we probably want the other mysteries. Um, there, Temp Temple of Mysteries we saw is a really nice card hit off of Risen Reef also. And then, and Cavalier of Thorns should be main instead of Roalesque. Maybe just one Cavalier of Thorns. Maybe just one. We want the fourth Veil of Summer. We want some melodies. I actually think that we needed another land too, to be honest. I really felt like we needed one more land. Like, there's only 23 in the deck. We want to, like, hit, keep hitting our land drops and everything. I think we want a 24th. Yeah, we could maybe drop a mana creature. I don't know. The mana creatures are awesome. They're like, what? Make our deck tick. Maybe we just don't play Cavalier of Thorns. Or maybe you just play two manipulation. You don't really need manipulation until like later. And like your first manipulation should just kill him.
I don't think our deck needs Aether Gust. So maybe something like this. I think this is what I try. Yeah, so we do... Yep, I play against subscribers. We do sub-battle days the last Saturday of every month. So make sure you put that on your calendar last Saturday of the month, um, which is in three Saturdays from now, the 27th. We'll be doing a sub battle day where I, I play against subscribers throughout the whole stream there. Um, you know, so I'd have to play from here. I would want to try this out first, but yeah, maybe maybe third manipulation and zero cavalier. Um, but I like cavalier a lot. Um, Voracious Hydra with the fighting is nice for sure. Maybe should just have another Voracious Hydra instead of this Cavalier. But yeah, I think I think four Veil of Summer is perfect for this deck. That card's awesome. And probably maybe even just like a fourth Negate, honestly. Maybe, maybe not. Um, no, I don't think this really needs to be a Frilled Mystic deck. Frilled Mystic could be kind of tough to cast, honestly. Like the times you want it. But there we go. Hey, we got to our, our other sub goal, so let's also crack a pack here. Pack. We're getting to a sub goal. Let's open a pack. Rare wow card. Not bad. We'll take it. Not bad. Okay. All right. So that is um, Leyline Ascendancy. Pretty sweet deck there. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. Um, but thank you so much for watching Leyline Ascendancy. I will see you for another, see you for another video.